The next live-action Star Wars show is going to be The Book of Boba, which comes out this December, and a new report says that we are going to see a fan-favorite character making a cameo in the series, and we all know who it is. Let's talk about it. Have you seen Star Wars? <laughs> So we have a new report from Jordan Mason, who is a very credible scooper in the Star Wars fandom who has gotten a lot right in the past, and in this recent article by him, he says that an important Mandalorian will appear in the Book of Boba Fett, and the article reads, The Book of Boba Fett has already wrapped filming if it hasn't already, and details on the story slash set have been ridiculously tight. That said, I've heard word from a couple independent sources that at least one familiar face from the Mandalorian will make an appearance, and that is Din Djarin, the actual Mandalorian himself from the Mandalorian series, and I think this isn't a big surprise to a lot of us. I think a lot of us are going to expect the, what we call Mandoverse. The Mandoverse is made up of all the spinoff shows from the Mandalorian. The Book of Boba Fett, the Ahsoka Tano series, Rangers of the New Republic. There was going to be a Cara Dune spinoff show, but you know, as we know, that was uh, canceled after the firing of Gina Carano. So now we have the situation where we're going to expect a lot of cameos in these Mandoverse shows and these stories and the first one we're going to see is book of boba fett so it makes sense to have din Djarin in there to make that connection but how is he going to appear how long is he going to be around i imagine it would be for one or two episodes the article goes on to say that uh he said before hearing this tidbit i had previously heard that one of the connections made in the book of boba fett to the mandalorian series would be some references to events happening in slash around mandalore possibly due to the fact that din Djarin has the dark saber and not everyone is happy about it hashtag bo -Katan. so perhaps din showing up has something to do with that who knows Either way, I'm definitely down to see more of Den, end quote. So that that's really cool. I, I think the idea of having our main character from The Mandalorian show up with Boba is cool because I like their dynamic. I really thought they worked together very well. It's almost like the mutual respect that they had for each other, not only as warriors, but as, I guess you could say, Mandalorians, because neither of them are purebred, you know, born in the Mandalorian culture. Uh, one of them was a foundling, which is Din Djarin, and then we have Boba, who was raised by Jango Fett, who, you know, was part of the Death Watch, I think. I I can't remember the history of all that specifically, but I know that Django was not considered a Mandalorian at that time. So we're, we're in an interesting part of the story where this is going to be the next chapter in the Mandover story. So it's not Mandalorian Season 3, because we actually have Mandalorian Season 3 coming out next year, but it will continue that story in some way. And it seems like they are going to reference some stuff with the Darksaber on what's happening with Mandalore. Because I would imagine that Boba Fett is going to be a very strong and powerful ally for Din Djarin to have going forward because we know that Din Djarin has a team of Mandalorians that he's working with whether it be the Death Watch from the Armorer and that little group that he was with or Bo-Katan's new group but we also now know that he has Boba Fett as an ally who is now running the crime world he is basically the new job of the hut and that comes with a lot of power so having an ally like that who has connections to bounty hunters mercenaries smugglers that kind of criminal underworld of the Star Wars galaxy, in a time like this, where Din Djarin is already not only a bounty hunter, but he works in the underworld, this is going to be a very good person to work with, and this is also going to be a very fun dynamic to watch going forward. They're pretty much going to be Mando bros, if you will, and I'm excited to see not only the book of Boba Fett and how they're going to delve into the character of Boba, because we've been looking forward to that for a long time. I'm also curious on who these other characters that Jordan Mason is referencing. I believe, if I remember correctly, one of them will be Cobb Vanth. I remember hearing something about that, and the other one I have no idea, but Cobb Vanth seems like the perfect other cameo for the Book of Boba Fett, simply because we know that he was wearing Boba's armor right before Din showed up and took the armor back, so it would be nice to have these two interact, and Boba's probably going to be a little petty. He's going to be like, hey, you, you had my armor for a long while. And Cobb Vanth was probably my favorite character that was like brand new into the live action that we saw in Season 2, and I want to see him back. So I think he will also be back for Book of Boba Fett. Probably not Season 3 of The Mandalorian, but this just shows that the Mandoverse is not only growing, but that we're going to get a story that is interconnected in a way that we haven't seen in Star Wars in quite some time. At least when it comes to shows like this, like four or five different shows all connecting together. We've gotten that a little bit with Clone Wars and Rebels, but that was animation, and it was also many years apart in different characters entirely other than Ahsoka and Rex. This, however, is just connecting so many different characters in the exact same time frame. I think it's great. I think the Mandoverse is the future of Star Wars storytelling for probably the next four to five years. 
But tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you guys think about Din Djarin showing up in the Book of Boba? Should it be a recurring character? Should it be a one episode thing? A quick little cameo? A little drive by? Hey, how you doing? Want to hear your thoughts. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like because it does about the channel. If you like Star Wars only, become an only fan and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on the latest news in Star Wars. Star Wars only, I will see you all next time and may the force be with you always.